The time has finally come for us to talk about the new UNAS products in the whole new lineup. There's not one, not two, not three, but four brand new products that have been entered. So let me just caveat this before we jump in. This is a reaction video, and once I get these products in my hand, I will bring you a further review. So let's jump in. For those of you that haven't seen it yet, let's take a quick look at Ubiquiti's video. Welcome to the next generation of Unify storage appliances, starting with the all new UNAS 2 a reimagined desktop NAS that blends elegant industrial design with practical innovation. From its clean PoE powered single cable setup to a customized storage multi-bay, USB-C external drive support and a responsive LCM screen, the UNAS 2 is true plug and play simplicity. Need more capacity? Step up to the UNAS 4, which doubles HDD support and adds M.2 NVMe SSD slots for ultra fast file handling. For professional grade deployments, the UNAS Pro 8 offers an incredible feature set, including multiple 10 gig interfaces supporting MC lag for high availability deployments, dual M.2 NVMe SSD base, and modular hot swappable power supplies. The UNAS Pro 4 offers similar features in a sleek 1U chassis. All models are powered by Unified Drive, a rapidly advancing license free storage management platform that now includes native backup integrations for AWS S3, Backblaze B2, and Wasap as well as Active Directory support for SMB folder sharing and access controls. And that custom fan control you've been asking for? It's here too. Ubiquity, rethinking IT. So there's four different models that have been announced there which are really exciting. So two desktop models and two rack models. So let's take a look at what they are. First, let's start with the UNAS 2. So $199, it has two 3.5 inch bays, 2.5 gigabit ethernet port on it, which you can power with PoE++ if you have it on your switch, or it comes with a PoE injector. You have USB-C connectivity on the front of it, so you can actually plug in another drive if that's what you want to do. A quick look at the technical side, we can see it's a five gigabit USB-C port. It can take a max budget for 52 watts in terms of drive, and it has a quad-core ARM Cortex-A55 processor. It has that nice LCM display on the front as well. The UNAS 2 is available to purchase today, and there's a link down in the description below for it. It. it is an affiliate link, but you'll be helping out the channel if you do use it. Next, we're going to move to the UNAS 4. Now, this is coming in Q4 of 2025. This is a similar sort of concept to the desktop one, again, except this is four bays, and it also includes two NVMe storage drives in there. So you can have that SSD caching if that's what you need in your setup. Again, 2.5 gigabit networking, USB-C connectivity, and this requires PoE++. If we take a look at what comes inside the box, it comes with the PoE++ adapter if you don't have one. This looks a little bit longer than the 2U version. It also seems like you can add a 2.5 inch drive in there as well. It seems like it has support for those too. This comes in at 379. And for those looking for that little bit more that want the desktop version, so we have the UNAS Pro 4, which is a 1U. Now, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this and asking for this. I can tell you, well, here it is, and it is coming in Q4 of 2025. It's not available today, which I know a lot of you would have wanted, but it is coming soon. Now, this is four 2.5 or 3.5 inch drives. And again, the two NVMe SSDs, they've definitely listened to the feedback from the initial UNAS launch and they're adding in things that will be required. On the back of this, it has a little bit more in terms of high speed networking. So it has two 10 gig SFP plus ports and one gigabit RJ45 port. It does have power redundancy through the RPS. The UNAS Pro comes in at $499. And then for those that are looking for the UNAS Pro 8, so if you want that little bit more and even more redundancy in there, the UNAS Pro 8 has eight drive bays in there with two NVMe slots again. It has dual 10 gig SFP plus ports and a 10 gig ethernet port as well. It has a hot swappable power supply. Again, this is shipping in October 2025. So it's not available to purchase just yet. And in case you missed it in the video, this also supports MC lag as well. So if you're looking for that high availability deployment, this gives you that extra layer of redundancy. This comes in at $799. In a video they published a little while ago, we saw a 16 bay NAS. It's not something we have seen announced just yet. Ubiquiti are definitely making strides in terms of the NAS space and they're forever evolving. I think they've taken some really good steps with these models and I'm looking forward to them as and when they appear. For those with the existing UNAS and thinking about whether to upgrade or to buy the next one, there's some decisions you need to make. You need to have a look at whether you need the additional features within the newer models that are coming out there. Do you want a 1U, a 2U? Do you want to upgrade? 
but that's something that I will cover in a future video. For those that are stepping into the NAS for the first time, you have options, you have a desktop, you have a rack mounted version, and the direct support with the USB-C on the desktop version also makes it a little bit more desirable. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments as well. When I do get my hands on them, I will be bringing you reviews of course, but for now, if there's anything specific you wanna see when I do get my hands on them, drop me a comment down below. And remember my links are down there if you are looking to purchase as well. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.